Hi guys, Twitch here from Keep Designs and it is a nice bright and sunny day here in Queensland so I am sitting outside trying to get some fresh air because it is freaking hot inside. So today for you, God I look so good, um, today I'm throwing together a video of a stocking post. Uh, I think it's more of a popular thing in like America and Canada as opposed to Australia. I've not actually seen anyone do it here before. Probably have. I don't know. I don't pay attention to much. Uh, but anyway, uh, going for a rustic Christmas vibe again, like with the Santa trays. Um, so it's a little on the dodgy side. It ends up a little wonky, but it still looks really cool and I'm happy with it and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So this will be the last video I put up before Christmas. So stick around to the end for a Christmas message. Alright so to start off with I got myself some fence palings. I can't remember the exact measurements for how tall I made this. Uh, but I made it just above hip height, but it of course depends on how big your stockings are. So to assemble this, I basically drilled a hole either end of it big enough for nails to go in. The nails are just there to hold it in place and hold it all together um, while I put some screws in. So because of how rough and rustic this piece is and how everything is not quite square, uh, it needed some persuasion with some clamps. I uh, just clamped it all together in position and chucked a couple of nails in. So this is where you'll understand why I put the nails in, just to hold it all together whilst I then go around and clamp everything tight and throw some screws in for extra strength. You could just get away with using nails. but. I figure I've got screws, so why not? So now it's going to need a base and whilst I don't want it to be too bulky I also need it to be on the larger side just so that it's got a bit of weight on the bottom of it and to stop it from toppling over. So I've cut some more pieces of the fence palings and screwed them all together. I believe I went 35 centimetres long on two sides and 32 on the other two sides. But like I said at the start, I can't remember all the measurements. Um, if people are interested, I can draw up some very rough plans if you're wanting to build something like this, but it is pretty straightforward if you have basic building skills. So 
Now that that's done, I need to put a top on it. So I'm just using some 12mm marine grade ply. You don't have to use marine grade ply, but this is just what I had laying around from other jobs. So again, pretty straightforward. I've just marked out the frame of the box and cut the piece for the top. Again, I'm pre-drilling all of the holes and I'll also be countersinking all of the holes. I'm going in all of the corners and one in the middle on each side. Be careful that you don't hit any of the screws that are holding the bottom part of the frame together. Putting the screws in the opposite sides first just to make sure it doesn't shift as I'm putting the screws in around the edges. Alright, so I wanted something in the base of this to help hold it steady and to screw it into because I didn't just want to screw straight up into the edge of the um, the ends of the end of the pillar. Sorry, not wording very well. So I've just marked up as close as I can to what would fit inside the base of the pillar and squaring it off. Not that anything on this is square. And then with the magic of TV, I have cut it. Was not easy. So I've put the screw in there just so that I can easily pull it out whilst I'm testing it. Good enough. Now that that's done, I'll find the very centre of the box by measuring both ways. Then I will drill a small hole straight through. So now I'm going to mark up the centre of the block and then I'll drill a hole straight through that. So then you want to get yourself a screw. Go from the inside and screw it through so it's just sticking out and that's where you want to line up the hole that's on the block. I find this the easiest way to line things up. So put that one all the way through, then I put four screw, drilled four holes around the outside of that one. Not too far out, otherwise you might miss the block and just put some shorter screws in just to help strengthen and stop it from moving. Now that that's in place, I'll position the post, make sure it'll go on there. Um, I'm applying some liquid nails to it just to help it stop any wriggling or movement or anything like that. Once that's in place, I will pre-drill some holes. I'm just putting one around each side. It doesn't need heaps in there, but those, uh, I want the screws to go straight into that block that's on the inside. I did also attach this part um, using some liquid nails and a few actual nails. Yeah. So this is what we got so far. It looks 
like it serves a purpose. So, now it's time to try and make it look pretty. So I'm using the Cartamelli Prep Mate 2 Orbital Sander. The shape of this and the way you hold it makes it so much easier to do pieces like this because you're not trying to hold up a bulky sander on different angles and it's just so much easier to get into detailed surfaces. I'm not going super heavy with the sanding on this piece as I want it rustic but I'm just removing any sharp edges, uh, splinters and getting rid of some of the old finish on it. I'm going to be using Cartamelli Suffuse Paint in the colour Little Lamb. So in this instance I'm just brushing it on, as you can see, great coverage, and then I'm scraping it off. Um, you can also use a plastic scraper to do this. Uh, it's giving, doing this to give it a super rustic look and lighten it up. It's a really easy effect that literally anyone can do. It doesn't take a genius to do this. Um, and I think it looks really good. So I wanted to go for a bit of a candy cane look on this one. Um, I could have left it just white and done it like that, but I just wanted to take it that step further. So I'm using sleek tape to mark off my lines because I'm going to be spraying some gold. I'm using Krylon shortcuts in the colour gold leaf to spray my lines. Um, I probably should have marked off, taped off a bit more area to avoid overspray, but it wasn't too bad. And when I was done and took the tape off, I just brushed, like dry brushed some more of the little lamb over where I overshot. So now I'm taking some tartan ribbon and I am using liquid nails to attach it at the top and then as I spiral it down next to the gold line I will use the same liquid nails to attach it on the sides of the post just to stop it from slipping.
So these are just some cheap cup hooks that I got from Bunnings. You could use fancier hooks if you want, I'm just using what I've got on hand. Before I let you go, I, without getting too sappy, look at my fringe. I'm like rocking the, uh, rocking the hair today. Um, before I let you go, without getting too sappy, because I don't do Hallmark moments, I just want to say a very quick thank you to everyone, literally everyone who's um, supported my channel this year and watched all of my videos, every comment, every like, every share every subscription, um, every subscriber, sorry, um, everyone who's had my back through all the ups and downs, I want to say a big thank you to every single one of you, and I hope you have an absolutely brilliant Christmas, and get lots of goodies and chocolate, and, you know, don't drink too much, and, yeah. Hope you have a great new year and I'll see you next year.